This week on Steve's Outdoor Adventures, we travel to Wyoming with the Slunger Hollow Productions hunting team on a close range archery hunt for big pronghorn antelope. We're bow hunting the fastest animal in North America on another exciting episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. I'm Steve West, professional hunting consultant, and these are my adventures. Steve's Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by Scope Coat, Stormcloth 2, Mossy Oak, Direct TV, The Montana Decoy Company, Tillamook Country Smoker, Burris Optics, and by the new Burris Eliminator Laser Scope. Just range them and eliminate them. Welcome to this week's episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. On today's show, we're traveling to Wyoming to archery hunt for pronghorn antelope with my friends from Slunger Hollow Productions. Now, one of our best antelope outfitters in all of Wyoming is located south of Gillette, where he hunts on over 50,000 acres of his family lands. And this region is home to the Pumpkin Buttes Antelope Herd, which is the largest antelope herd in all of North America. And this area has no shortage of good bucks, and our clients have always had a great deal of success when hunting here. Pronghorn antelope is the fastest animal in North America. They can run at speeds that exceed 60 miles an hour, their large goggle eyes allow them to see nearly 360 degrees, and their acute sense of smell allows them to detect predators very quickly, especially hunters that are hiding in ground blinds. Pronghorns are most often hunted with rifles, which greatly increases the odds for success. But hunting them with a bow and an arrow is much more challenging. It makes for an up close and personal hunting adventure. Antelope hunting is largely underrated due to the sheer number of animals that are found scattered throughout the western states. But the reality is that antelope hunting is yes. exciting, especially when you close the distance in archery. Now John Bleasdale has been our video editor for several years, and although he spends most of his free time hunting big whitetails in Ohio, he occasionally gets a chance to sneak away for a few weeks each year to do some other big game hunts. In fact, if you've followed our show for the last several years, you've seen that John and I have filmed several great shows together. They include Archery Elf, Red Stag in South America and New Zealand, and even Brown Bear Hunts in Alaska. John is also president of Slunger Hollow Productions, located in Chillicothe, Ohio. They specialize in producing whitetail hunting DVDs and television programming, and Slunger Hollow Productions is really well known for capturing some monster buck kills each year, and their Fair Chase Whitetails DVD series is really popular amongst whitetail hunting enthusiasts. Now the Slunger Hollow boys are bow hunting nuts, and when John expressed his interest in archery hunting for antelope, I knew exactly where to book his hunt. John will be heading to Wyoming with his partner Scott Newman, along with Slunger Hollow production staff members Ed and Juan Deddy. Now the group booked their hunt for the first week in September, and the weather in Wyoming during this time of year is typically pretty hot and dry, which normally makes the hunting over water holes a surefire way to ambush big problems. Everything situated. Oh. We had this spot opening opening morning here when we were here. I think it was yesterday morning. I had a big goat, and he's actually out up there. We come in a different direction. We got a pond right behind us. 
that we were set up on. The blind was down over the hill. We thought the goats would come in there. Well, there's a little pipe coming up out of the ground. It's got some water in it here. So we adjusted the blind, split the difference. It's about 38 yards to the edge of the pond, 40 yards there. And, you know, we're sitting there watching this big goat. We just need him to get thirsty. He's a nice goat. He's a big shooter. I get everything ready to rock and roll here. He's got to get thirsty sometime. Johnny looks like an old white-tailed buck in Ohio, man. Rut's getting close. He's doing the same thing he did the other morning. He's just working that area, scraping the ground, rubbing sage. Johnny, right here, right here. That's a pretty good buck. He's right, right over the edge of the hill there. Stay with us folks, after the break, Scott takes a shot at this dandy buck in Wyoming. We'll be right back. What a beautiful goat. One of my goals when I came out here was get one of this pretty heart shape. Man, he hooks in good. Just a gorgeous animal. And let alone take him with archery equipment. That Athens bow did the number on him. We're not 100 yards from the blind. Man, I'd just love to thank Steve West with Steve's Outdoor Adventures for making this possible. This was a hunt of a lifetime and I'll never forget it. Breezy. But the wind, the wind is good. I'll tell you what, I just can't get over how, how hot and dry it is here. You know, it's the first part of September and, you know, I guess that's a hot, dry time, but whew, water is scarce here. You know, typically with the bows, we'll set these blinds up over water holes, but this is a little bit of a unique situation. Um, they just like to feed in here, so we're going to take advantage of that. Clear shots all out in front of us. We should be in good shape.
just the big one. Go down, go down, go down. Go down, go down, go down. Yes! 33 yards right behind the shoulder. It didn't take him long to go down, baby. Athens accomplice. <clears throat> Man, you were a weapon. <sighs> Boy, that was a short hunt. Come all the way to Wyoming, 45 minutes later, bang! I tell you, for an Ohio boy that grew up hunting whitetails, coming out here to Wyoming to hunt these beautiful antelope, what an amazing change of pace and an incredible hunt. I'd like to thank Steve West with Steve's Outdoor Adventures for arranging this hunt for me and my friends. I tell you, we've had a great time. Whether you want to hunt them with a bow and arrow or rifle, they have a lot of antelope out here. Odds are very, very high. 100% to date, as a matter of fact. And if you've never went on a big game hunt before, try an antelope hunt. They're not as expensive as other big game hunts, but yet you're going to be treated to an exciting hunt that's challenging yet rewarding. You're going to see a lot of animals and have a great time. Once again, thanks Steve and Steve's Outdoor Adventures. After the break, we'll join Ed Deddy as he encounters a dandy pronghorn at first light. We'll be right back. <laughs> 